Hello, this is Cameron McKenzie, Application Engineer here at Man and Machine, and today we're just going to look at transferring licenses from one team inside of the Autodesk License Management to another team also inside of this. Um, a lot of the times we have it where licenses are spread across multiple teams. If they are spread across multiple contracts, and Autodesk have made it easy for the end user or the administrator of the end using licenses to be able to manage which teams these licenses show up inside of. So I'm just starting off inside of manage.autodesk.com. You'll need to sign in here with the contract managing account or the primary administrator account. For those that are used to managing licenses inside of Autodesk, um, this is the same portal that we're essentially using from here for those that are new to it. Um, we'd want to sign in with manage.autodesk.com and go to user management section. From here, we can either view by user, so it'll show all of the users that we have available to us, or by product, and we'll see all of the products that are available to this. Both of them have the same options at the top, so we've got the ability to manage the team from inside both of these views. In order to manage the team, we can come up to the top right of this view where we go to our team settings. If I just click on here, you'll see I've got the ability in here to rename my team. So if I wanted to rename the team, I can just hit rename here and just call rename this to something like man and machine. Oh, if I could spell today, there we go and save changes on there, you'll see that the team name then changes. I've then also got the ability to change which licenses show up inside of this team. So if I go into actions in the top right, I can either create a new team or move subscriptions to this team. If I select move subscriptions from this team, I've got the ability to look at all other teams that I am part of. Um, so if I'm a primary or secondary administrator of another team, they will show up in the list over here and I can hit the drop down and I can see multiple if I have access to multiple teams. From here, as long as no licenses are assigned to each of those contracts, so each of these are individual um, serial numbers or individual license sets. You can see this one has 12 seats, this one one and this one one. As long as nobody is associated to that one, I'll be able to select that one um, and actually move it into my team. Once I'm happy with that, these are all assigned, so I'm not going to make any changes to this today. But once I've got those selected, uh, we can go to review and submit. And then we go to a final confirmation from there, which will just take us through the process, just confirming that we are wanting to make those changes. And once we're happy with those changes, those will then appear inside of our team in this case inside of my man and machine team. I hope this has been beneficial to you. If you have any further questions, please give us a shout. Otherwise, thank you very much for your time.